All right, family, we'll continue with uh, another Q&A session. I have my two good brothers here, and they're going to be uh, asking our co-founders uh, some questions. I have my good brother here. A quick introduction. My name is Hugh Prince, and uh, I'm not going to ask And you're a Garvey question. Town member really now. I'm ask questions because my great brother, my great elders, you know, uh, all the questions that I wanted to ask, and I, 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 I read about them already, but I've, here it comes straight from their, their Quaco and Mr. Jaredino mouth. Uh, I'm fully convinced and appreciate the, the message and uh, and where we are going as a people, one people, one Africa. You just mentioned uh, that Marcus Garvey is talking about Africa for the Africans and Asia for the Asians. Can you go into okay. more details? Okay. Uh, you know, I. My, my concept is that when it comes on to us as black people, we are people always want to adapt other people's culture, other people's identity, but we are we far removed from our identity as a people. And, uh, and it do us great damage because we will, we will uh, have uh, cooperation and sympathy with every other people but we see our brothers and our sisters as the as the white man would have saw us as nothing because uh you know as, as you go around you know because of the because of the myth education that we got we we, we 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 think of each other less or we are a dangerous people or you know but uh I would tell my brothers and my sister all around the, the, the diaspora, wherever black people found, that we have to come together as one people. We have to understand that we have one thing in common, is this, our genes, our blackness. You understand me? And uh, the, because the China man of China, the Indian man of India, the Korean, the, the Europeans, they have a system that no matter what, they gonna come together. They may have disagreement, but when it comes to doing something to benefit the collective, they're gonna come together. And we as uh, as so-called black people or so-called Negroes or so so-called uh Kemites, you know, the, the, you know, various names. But the, the thing is is that we have to come together as one people, one mind, one thinking one movement you know and uh the minute uh, i saw bamani was advertising this garvey town and i you know knowing what garvey was all about black people coming together working together self-reliance you understand me not depending on someone else's idea of us as people that we are inferior but we are we are great people we are the people of the origin, the original people of the civilization. Out of us come many nations. And so we have to understand that we have to come back to our right mind or get rid of the, you know, as my brother would say, the, the, our, our dirty mind that, you know, we've been, in, in, been infiltrated and planted by uh, brainwashing of our literature, not learning our culture, not learning anything about our ancestors, you know, and what our ancestors have gone through, you know, to have us at this place and at this time and this moment. So, you know, we wanted us to encourage each and every brother and sister, wherever they may be found, you know, love each other, take care of each other, you know, because, you know, when we hurt our brothers and our sisters, we hurt in ourselves. We're doing it to ourselves. And you know, we have, we, you know, you know, sometimes when you confront people about what is happening to black people, you know, in America and all over the place, you know, other ethnic background people that would say, oh, but black people killing black people. That's, that's, a, that's their, they, that's, that's their cushion they're saying, but black is killing blacks. And that's their excuse. So we don't want to give them no more excuse. We want to come together as one people, loving each other, working together, you know, because you know, we cannot be living on, living on the richest continent in this world, the richest continent where all the resources are and we are the poorest people on the planet. 
That is that is that is madness. That is madness. It don't make no sense. And the, the thing I I I I I am I'm, I'm, I'm eating out against. You have a system that you have a system uh, that you know run by the Europeans, and we are fully educated by them all around the world. Is the European system. We must think like them. We must do. And you go to school. You borrow money. You're gonna borrow some money. They will give you some money to go. To use, you have to use your own brain to get that degree that they're going to give you a piece of paper and say, Sir, you are, you are, well, you are, you, you are passed or you are, you are a surfer ticket to use your own brain. So you are, get, you, they are, you are allowing them to give you a piece of paper to use your own brain that the creator of the universe gives you. Then you have to go to school, then you have to get a job, and then when you get a job, you have to use your own strength, your own energy. And you have to you have to pay them to use your own energy and your own strength. You know it's total madness. So the whole planet is in slavery. You understand me? And uh, I, I I just said to myself, that's my own you know uh, you know thinking out of the box. How can how can uh, 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 an entity say they are human being and create a system to enslave a whole the whole universe? Now not the whole universe, but the whole Earth where, where man human is. It is just nonsensical and stupid for us to be living, you know, in a in a in a situation wherein somebody, you know, have to tell you, give you a piece of paper to say, oh, you can use your own brain. It don't make any sense. And so we, we need to be, be to, to come into ourselves and look inside ourselves and stop look outside of ourselves for something. And this whole thing about this material greed that we have and this consuming stupidness. It's not going to bring us nowhere. It's not going to be to bring us nowhere, and we want to we want to kill our brother for a piece of paper, you know, a piece of paper that somebody intends true for us to use, and 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 then, you know, but we don't we we never learn what is true wealth. You have the land, you have the land that everything come out of the land. But somebody want to tell you to go and work and kill yourself for a piece of paper, shoot your brother, murder your brother, envy your brother for a piece of paper. I want I always say to myself. Do a piece of material goods or a piece of material asset is important than the human being that create that that stuff. It, 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 you know, because it cannot be. The human being must be important than a material a car, because it's the same human being that created that car, that made that house, that make a, make, 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 you know, make a piece of furniture. So when we get into start to worship material stuff of our own human being, it, it, it don't make any sense because. There's no way if you have billions of dollars and you don't have somebody to share it with, enjoy it with, it you're not going to be happy. You cannot be happy because the universe is not like that. The, uni you, you, the creator of the universe gives everything free that mankind could live and share and live together. But there are one entity, I don't know if that entity is a human being, but as far as I understand, I'm trying to, to put together that entity is not a human being. Because only somebody that is not a human being could have ever create a system like this. A system to put everything, to monetize everything. The fish cannot be in peace. You have to go and build a zoo and all these type of things they own cannot, nothing can stay in their own inhabitants to be living free. The, but we are enslaving everything. We are going and, and destroying everything. You, we are contaminating our water or our, 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 our year, you know. So we need to just get back to ourselves as people, you understand me? And we're not talking about uh, billions of people. We are talking about a small set of people who want to rule the whole world and keep the majority in constant slavery. And that, that's, that's my piece, my brother. Excellent, my brother. Well said. I appreciate the black consciousness energy. Dr. Um, Thank you.